guys, welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. I'm not feeling 100%. I don't have a cold yet, but it's still on the like brink of it that I can tell it's coming. So I've been getting more sleep and having vitamin C and just drinking lots of fluids, but I can still tell. My throat is sore and I have a little bit of some sort of congestion in my nose. Not I don't know. So it's coming, but I'm just trying to pass by it because I don't want to have to take time off work, especially teaching because it's my last week, so I don't want to have to postpone it now. So I have coffee in the morning. Not that that's a connection. Coffee has nothing to do with me being sick, but... Actually, I don't even feel like coffee. Dan just made it. Hmm. Maybe that is. But what I am looking forward to is my granola, and this time I got fresh strawberries um, that I cut up. Three small fresh strawberries. A strawberry bit in every bite. Now I'm just eating a little thing of dessert, I guess. <laughs> I got it from my mom. Her friend made essentially like a pineapple upside down cake, but she's constantly experimenting with like making things healthy. Um, as opposed to me, which just goes all out with. Anyway, so I think it has, it doesn't have any sugar. It has, I don't remember what it has instead of sugar, but not sugar. And it has spelt flour, I think, and whole wheat flour. Um, so it's not that sweet. But it has some good spices in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I think it has like a little bit of a maple glaze on top. <laughs> but it's still pretty good. I like it. I don't know if I'd call it a pineapple up as a down cake, but for like a, you know, like a spice coffee cake, it's pretty good. <laughs> for lunch, we are having burgers. Um, we're using these Gardein beefless burgers. Um, they were on sale at Save On Foods this actually a week and a half ago um, for $2.99 for all of their packages. So we stocked off and got a whole lot. Um, usually for $5.99 we don't purchase those because we only have four in a bag, but um, for $2.99 it's a good deal. So we just made some mushrooms and onions uh, to put on one side and then I have ketchup on one side and a little bit of chipotle aioli as well on the other side. So. Yum. And yeah, these beef burgers are, they're pretty good. They're definitely try to be the imitation beef, you know, with the name too, not just like a veggie burger. Um, and they're even a little bit, what I would say, greasy. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to pretend to be beef. I don't know, but they taste pretty good. I am going to work now, so I have the coolest tea ever. As you guys know, I'm a drama teacher, so I teach lots of scenes and prose and poetry and Shakespeare. So I am drinking Shakespearemint. Ah, spearmint. <laughs> and on the back, to tea or not to tea. Ah. Oh, this is just a genius. Oh my god. I saw these and I was like, I have to have them. Not only for myself, but I'm going to be giving them as gifts to, probably I'll keep them for Christmas time, um, but to my fellow drama teachers because it's awesome. So I got a bunch of them. And then also there's Agatha Christie. Uh, uh. But I am obsessed with Shakespearean mint because as you guys know, I mostly drink mint tea when I go teach. And that was Shakespeare mint. Uh, so funny. So these I got online, collectteables.com, but actually they are having a, a Kickstarter campaign where you buy the tea book, which is like a, instead of having all your teas in little boxes and your thing, you just put it in like kind of like a sticker book, but it has a little compartments for tea. Anyways, now I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I should have got that too, but I just wanted the Shakespeare mint tea because that's genius. It, I, yeah, I don't know why no one's come up with this before. I'm so excited. So it just tastes like plain peppermint tea that I'm used to, but it's Shakespeare mint. I was so excited when I saw these. Honestly, this is the best ever. So I'm so excited to give them to my fellow drama teachers too. <laughs> Anyways, I am off to work now. I'm back from work and very drained. Um, you can already hear in my voice. I've been talking a lot, teaching, but yeah, my cold is catching up to me. Um, after about two hours, I'm like, I could go home now. But I still have to teach for another couple hours. Um, anyway, so Dan made dinner. Um, he heated up a minestrone soup, um, so that was good. And I made double check that it was all vegetarian. Sometimes they 
like beef broth in it, but luckily didn't. And he made a beautiful focaccia bread. Ooh. So that's what I have this slice. Mmm. That's from and there's herbs, and rosemary, <laughs> and salt on it. And he made it in the past iron skillet. Anyways, I just, I came home, I was like, I just wanted to sleep, but I'll eat this first and then I'll go to sleep and hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. I don't want to cancel tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't want to cancel tomorrow teaching, um, but we'll see how I feel. If I don't feel any better, then I probably will stay home because I don't want to get kids sick either. Anyways, that is probably going to be it for one day Wednesday. I'm going to be going home or going to bed soon. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.